This is 1995 Chevrolet pickup truck. Uh, the license plate holder is held on by two bolts that are kind of down on the bottom of the bumper. So if you've been given a ticket by the police and they want you to have a front license plate and you have to comply with uh, legal regulations and put one on that will pass a CHP test, you can buy a bracket. This one's made by Dorman. Uh, there's your model number. There's your UPC code. So this is 20 bucks. So it's a it's an easy fix it ticket item. And it's got these mountings that work with the bolts on the bottom of the bumper. So basically just bolt it right on like that. So there's, there's mounting holes high and low. On this truck, the previous one was only held on on the bottom. So there are holes drilled in the bumper already, but this rubber thing does not have holes in it. So if I wanted to use the top ones as well, I would have to drill a hole in here, probably from the back, because I can see where the holes are from the back. Drill, drill two holes in the rubber baby buggy bumper, and that would hold it on double tight. I think I'll probably just use the two to hold it on because it, it should stay on unless I crash into something. And the only thing you want to do while you're at the auto parts store is buy some of these little uh, plastic license plate dealies and snap them in so that you'll have something to screw your license plate into and then you'll be legal. These things are terrible off-road, the way that this thing's built and the way it hangs under the bumper. And that's where mine went, was out into the sand dunes. So if you're going off-roading, you pretty much have to take it off and uh, keep it inside the truck if you don't want to lose it. Shut up, bird. And there's the installation. Um, I've got it held on by two bolts and it's, it's rigid. So I'm not too worried about using the top bolts. The most important concern for me is we're going to the dunes in a few months if they're still open. And this way I can just pop off two bolts throw it in the truck, and then put it back on for the highway ride home. So that's it. Cheap, easy, and required in a lot of states.